Hello Sagittarius. This is a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And look at what we have at the cut. We have the Knight of Cups energy. And we have Eight of Wands. So a lot of passion. That's your card, Sagittarius. Eight of Wands energy. A lot of communication, maybe even some air travel. But it's a lot of back and forth. But it's making love all night long and having fun doing it. So Sag, you're on the move. So the energy that you're bringing into the situation, Sag, is a little bit surprising. We have the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So for many of you, you are leaving something behind. So you've walked away from another situation. Let's see what else we have. We're going to pull three cards for your energy first. You want equal give and take. Okay. So let's see what the person of interest, the person you came to ask about, let's see what their energy is for you. Let's see here for our Sagittarius friends. Ah, okay. So, Four of Swords, they're healing. It looks like somebody you had a long relationship with, somebody who really loves you, somebody who feels that you're a soulmate. Six of Cups energy, they wanted to grow old with you. So, it does look like you've walked away from this person, feeling really stabbed in the back. Six of Cups, they're still burning in their heart for you. They feel very wounded, very heartbroken that you have left. Give us one more card for Sagittarius energy, please. We have release. Okay, judgment. So they've been judged. You've released them. So let's see what the Messages of Love Oracle has for you. So this is in the recent past. Why? Okay, so put the computer away. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. So part of your dissatisfaction is this person didn't give you enough um, attention. It looks as though they just would have a tendency to you know, be online, be on the computer, texting on their phone, and you really got fed up with it. Integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? Ooh, interesting. So clearly it didn't because the Ten of Swords is here. You walked away because you didn't feel that your person was really giving you their best shot. You know, you didn't feel that they were really in it to win it. Okay, so let's see, Sagittarius. Let's see what we have. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship, right? You want it equal give and take. So it really speaks volumes to where you're at in this situation. Let's see what your person is feeling, Sag. The Judgment card is Scorpio energy. We have Scorpio twice, and we also have the Four of Swords, which is Libra energy. So why is this person in the Four of Swords energy warning? Don't dismiss the red flags here. So your person, you know, you've really warned this person. You told them. You told them more than once what you needed from them. And they did dismiss the red flags. And that is why they're in this recovery mode now. All right, why do we have the Six of Cups here? This person still holds on to the memories of you. It's a daisy. Okay, let's see. They want a reconciliation with you with that Six of Cups. Passion, try something you've never done before. Well, wouldn't they like to do that, but they're not going to get the chance right now. Um, with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords, it would be very hard for you, I think. Um, Sag to really pull back at this time. What uh, What is their response to the judgment card? Time apart. Sure. Okay, so you've had a breakup with this person very clearly. Some distance will help bring clarity. So your person is still very hopeful that you might take them back in the future. So let's look and see what is the future will bring for the two of you. But first of all, I want to see what the mutual energy is for the two of you, and we'll clarify that. So the dynamic between Sagittarius and their person, what is the energy between the two of you that's mutual? Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised here. Okay, this was upside down. Here's the energy between the two of you. Sun card, when it's good, it's great. And when it's bad, it's horrible. <laughs> so Sagittarius, when we get Capricorn energy and we get this energy of the puppet on a string, 
we really get that you felt like you were the puppet. Sometimes you felt like the other person was just very controlling. They wanted what they wanted. It was their way or the highway. When we get all this sort of fixed energy, Scorpio fixed energy, it really says that, you know, they were a little bit manipulative. And it clearly shows that you felt that this person wasn't who you needed for them to be. Let's look and see what the messages of love are for for your energy. So the Sun card is the happiest card in the deck, so it wasn't easy for you to walk away because when it was good, it was off the charts good, Sag. It was really good. So let's see why the Sun card is here. Let's see obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So that really does explain why it was a happy relationship when it was good, but why the toxicity. And it says rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. So you felt you pulled away from this person because you really didn't think that they were adding to the relationship. They weren't bringing their their themselves to the relationship in the way that you needed for them to. Let's look and see what's now the energy for the future for this relationship in the month of May. So let's see for Sagittarius, what is the relationship energy as you move forward into the month of May? Let's see. You're staying very detached, cool, calm, collected. That is Aquarius energy. You're not, you're just not overly interested in anything that isn't factual, to the point, the truth, that doesn't hold integrity. Let's see what else. Seven of Cups, you're keeping your options open, Sagittarius. You are definitely not, you are not in the mood for the things that you experienced. Five of Cups, yeah. You're really over it. I mean, you do have, still have feelings for this person. There are two cups back here standing yes okay but really it's you are deliberately kicking the cups over at this point you've just decided that you i don't think this person will come back and apologize you want an apology you definitely want an apology with the five of cups so you deserve an apology let's see how this person is going to respond in the near future world card they're sort of accepting this sag the world card is them allowing this to close out. The judgment card is a closing out energy. They still love you. We'll clarify this also. That is, they have some Cancerian energy possibly. They're emotional and yet they don't really, it's like they're not investing. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles energy. They still have hope for the future. They have hope for the future. They feel as though you were great together. You know, you're feeling as though you weren't great together. The devil also talks about codependency. They might have been very dependent upon you too. And they, it looks as though they had some sense of entitlement to whatever it is that you brought to the table. Okay, so what are the love messages for the King of Swords for you? acceptance everything happens for a reason so you're kind of okay strictly sexual this connection is passionate but not enduring okay well you're keeping your options open so the sun card really is leo energy the sun card is sexual energy it's the fifth house of sex leo rules sex <laughs> it's about having fun healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting so your feeling is that not only does your person need to visit childhood issues, but you've done a lot to heal yours. So you're really not on the same page. Your person is closing this out. Second chance, this relationship deserves a second chance. But I see you walking away. I'm not seeing you give the second chance. So they have no choice other than to bring the world card into play. They are still very much in love with you. You have new love. See, they want a new commitment, a new love or recommitment to love that is developing. But I'm not, you're not, I don't see you as having that, Sag. Why is the Ten of Coins here? Very interesting card that there's something about your, maybe you have a lot of abundance that they need. It's time to decide about this relationship. So they're all in. If you said to them, yes, let's have another go-round, they would totally be in it 
but I don't think necessarily they can win it. Does that make any sense? Uh, it's usually they're in it to win it, but I don't think they can bring it to the table, and it doesn't appear that you think that they can, because look at the cards that you feel. Your feelings about this person are pretty, pretty ragtag. I mean, really, it's just, you're so over it. Body and soul, you are so over it. You want something that's very fulfilling emotionally. And this, you just feel like the rejection, the things that they did that wounded you, that made you walk away, felt like rejection. But you're in the spirit of gratitude, Sag. Really gorgeous. Let's pull one more Oracle card for you before we look at your person again. Feeling the world, okay? So you are feeling the world, but the world is your oyster. It's not their oyster to have with you. So let's look and see what the energy is for your person with Heart the Fairy Oracle. Let's look and see if we can get some insights into why they behave this way, what was going on with them. You're in healing mode. You know, you're doing pretty well with this from the, for the Sages I'm reading for. Okay, the challenge. Okay, this person was just challenging. They challenged anything and everything. Anytime you would try to talk to them, they would basically challenge you. So when you warned them here, that this wasn't working, that there were obstacles to success, you know, they just they just challenged the the accuracy of your statement. Well, they can't challenge how you feel about you and you feel about the relationship. Okay, the hope. See, they still hope. They still hope. They're going to remember you forever as the one that got away. They will remember you forever as the one that got away. They want the second chance. Let's see what they can bring to the table. Well, they feel as though you can you can do the work of two people. The green woman is the energy that you, you know, should give them another chance and that, that somehow they'll magically be, you know, really good to you. But it doesn't, it doesn't look, I don't see any change to paradox. That tells the truth right there. That this person sees everything sort of upside down. They just do not see the reality. They're not at the same level you are, Sag. Oh, here, here's a card. This is a card. This is a card that explains it, okay? The Queen of Bedlam. The Queen of Bedlam is the reason that this has gone south. The Queen of Bedlam is a person who's all drama, all the time, every day, in every way. The Queen of Bedlam energy could be a former spouse that you had to deal with with this person. This person could, for some of you, this would have been a third party situation and you're cutting it out. Uh, I feel as though that is possible for some of you, but what I'm getting here is that the reason this relationship never would have worked out, Sag, is that this person just had too much drama. Sagittarius, you're ruled by Jupiter. You know, you want to be happy. You want to do the right thing. You're all about the ninth house, your belief system, your value system, doing the right thing, the moral thing. And... Um, I just see the Queen of Bedlam never gets any better. It's like the saga that never stops. So your energy is beautiful, Sag. It looks like you're off to a new beginning. Wishing you the best. Sending you love from Chicago. Bye-bye. Thanks.